This video is going to show you how to plot a graph with two lines on it, one representing your data and one representing the regression line best fit data. To begin with, before you actually do this, you need to read the other or view the other video on how to use the LINEST or L-I-N-E-S-T command. Now, no matter what software you're using for your spreadsheet, the L-I-N-E-S-T command is there, but its format may be a little different. But anyways, use that to find the slope and the y-intercept. There are other commands you can use, but that's the one we're, we're talking about for other reasons. Now, I'm going to use those to make my equation. Remember, y equals mx plus b. So with y equals mx plus b, my y value is going to go down here, and then my m and my x and my b come from here and from this column of time. So first thing I'm going to do is double click, press an equal sign so the computer knows I'm doing a math expression. So y equals mx. m is the slope, so I'm going to click on the cell with the slope, times, so that's the asterisk, my x values, that's going to be, they're going to come from this column over here, plus my intercept value, so I'm going to click on that cell. I could enter numbers instead, but by doing this, it just, it'll make the flow a little bit easier to follow things later on if you're following along with the other videos. Click on the little square, down here see the cursor changes to a plus sign, then drag it down to copy that formula. It does these calculations and something's wrong, got all these zeros. So I'm going to click on one of these cells and see what's wrong. The problem is G1 and G2 have changed to G5 and G6. If I click on another cell, I can see I have a similar problem, G4 and G5. So it's no longer G1 and G2, but I want it to stay, so always stick with these cells. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the computer not to change those cells. I'm going to do that by putting a dollar sign in front of the G and a dollar sign in front of the 1. And over here for G2, I put a dollar sign in front of the G, a dollar sign in front of the 2, and that tells the computer not to change those values, but it can change D5. Click up in the cell and then go down. Now, there are my values. Okay, to make my graph, I'm going to highlight the first line above the numbers and then the whole block of text with all the numbers. So you can see I got the first row of information, that's what's in each column, and then the numbers. Then I'll go to Insert, Chart. I'm going to choose a scatter plot connect the dots with the lines and now I can do the titles let's see this is velocity versus time and the horizontal axis is going to be time parentheses seconds the vertical axis is going to be velocity parentheses, meters, slash, seconds. And it's going to be a little preview of what it's all going to look like. I'll hit Save Chart. And I'm going to move my chart into the screen a little bit so I can see what's going on. But there is my chart. I'm going to move the chart to its own sheet so you can see what it looks like. There it is. So here's my chart and here are my values. The red line is my best fit line as it shows over here, and the velocity, that's my actual data that I collected. 